The panorama tour accommodates various categories. These include the veterans, women and developmental groups. Most of the entrants couldn't wait to grab the opportunity to be out there following the tough COVID-19 lockdown restrictions. One of them is Bukhleng Gobese from Newcastle in Wazulu Natal. With COVID around, it actually uh, took us back in terms of training, but we've been fortunate enough, fortunate enough um, to do like indoor sessions. So one has been keeping fit with that. So as soon as a race came uh, about or was available, I was like, oh, definitely I'm going to um, go out there and ride. The 33-year-old who is based in Johannesburg only started cycling three years ago, and now she's hooked. Uh, attracted to the sport because of the social aspect of it. So initially I started with a single speed bike cycling in the inner city. I thought that was actually really cool. And then somebody told me about a race and dared me to enter it. And when I entered it and saw a whole community of cyclists, I was then hooked. Before and after long rides, the muscles need some attention. And the Gobesa says that when a misuse comes in handy. She's working magic. So because this is a stage race, um, I want to make sure that I'm um, fit and um, ready for tomorrow. On the Mpumalanga Cycle Tour, Stage 4 took the cyclist from Castor Bridge to Hazy View. And James took his chance 20 kilometers into the stage and never looked back. He opened up a gap of more than five minutes from the chasing peloton until the finish line. I managed to get a gap when they were um, relaxing a bit and it was pretty much just solo from about 20 k's in to the finish. Been trying to build the team for a couple of years and we finally reached our pinnacle at the moment. We made a big breakthrough. The last stage of the tour is on Saturday and the jerseys for the various category winners are still up for grabs. For SAPC News, White River in Pumalanga.